And as he always does, the president and CEO of Great Lakes Credit Union joins us, David Seeger. How's it going? Good morning, John. Good morning, morning. Ned. Good morning, David. Marcus. Well, I tell you what, right now looking pretty good right now. The Dow looks like it's going to open uh, 26 uh, to the positive um, uh, at 930 this morning. S&P up 3.25 and NASDAQ up 1050. So it looked like a good start to the work yeah. week. Yeah. Oh, I wish I was in the stock market. I <laughs> guess so. My, this is record highs and everything else. Yeah, they're doing fine, aren't they? They are. <laughs> Okay, cyber fraud. Okay, mm -hmm. every 18 seconds in the United States, somebody's a victim of cyber fraud. And every three seconds, somebody's a victim of identity fraud. So those are the stats, so they're pretty significant. Now, in terms of your bank accounts and, and, and how you do your banking, this really comes into play. In 2012, there were more transactions done electronically using some type of electronic yeah. device to do your banking as compared to people going to the branch and doing a transaction. Right. It's so much so easier. It is, and, and why would you not you know, use that type of a thing? So at any rate, uh, that's the whole situation. But that opens up a whole, I, a whole package of issues when it comes to fraud. Especially right. this time of year as we enter the Christmas season, Very much more so. and more. Uh, highest use so. of the year. Exactly. So Fish what can people do? Well, I mean, well phishing is, is one of the big issues. What, okay. that's, that, that is where you get an um, uh, email from, from somebody from, un undisclosed and they try to get your uh, in, uh, information mm -hmm. about your password and your username and things of that nature. They try to trick you to give it to them. Right. So um, when those types of situations come, yeah, obviously don't uh, They solicit you for it. That's, right, called, they that's do. what phishing that's is. That's what phishing okay. is, right. Spear phishing is when they go for somebody specifically. Mm -hmm. Okay, now when it comes to um, key logging, that is a, that's when they, 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 there's a virus virus on your computer uh -huh. and then uh, they can see you um, uh, type in um, different your, your username and password they can, they can say watch uh -huh. you do that and actually use it themselves in so right. those are the type of things that you're that are out there right now so um, what to look for? Okay, an urgent time or sensitive time message. Uh, that could be a sign of phishing, an email that you can get from, from somebody. A strangely addressed or vague email signatures. Um, comes from an unknown domain or URL. Uh -huh. um, addressed generically and solicits personal information, and the bank would never ask for personal information for through an email. Right. So those are some of the tip-offs. They'll uh, usually call you the, or contact, contact you, you Yes, in some mail. other fashion, okay. exactly, through mail or, or, or telephone. And how do you protect, protect yourself against cyber fraud? Use strong passwords, a minimum of mm -hmm. eight characters, and mix them up with um, um, uh, letters and also numbers as well. So that's one thing that you could do. Uh, do not respond to those emails that you get. They, they, they seem suspicious, assume that there probably are some type of Cyber fraud Delete that is going them immediately. Delete them immediately because there may be um, a um, program virus to them. with uh, it. Uh, yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, keep sensitive information off of your um, your your cell phone. Uh, believe it or not, people put store the information on their cell phone, so keep that off of there. And never use your birth date or social security number as part of your passcode. That's the too wrong easy, thing to too do. easy access. Very much, very much so. And you uh, use virus and spyware protection software in all your devices and keep them up to date. Make sure you get them updated. And that should help you pretty much when it comes to um, cyber fraud and protect you against those type of bad things because there are bad people out there who want to do bad things yeah. uh, to you and to your bank account to try to get that information. Mm -hmm. yep. Thanks a lot, David. You also betcha. forget to log off. I sometimes like go back to the computer and see that my account is still open there. Yeah, but, but it, it's timed out at that point. Yeah, So you do, Hopefully. There's, there's some <laughs> Do it immediately. All right, thanks. Appreciate it, David. Coming